Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it is the afternoon, mid-afternoon of day 56, uh, Horde Night tonight. Um, so part of the day is missing um, because I went ahead and did the whole day and recorded Horde Night and then realized I didn't record Horde Night. So um, I did a couple of minor repairs to the base, not a lot, but minor things. Um, as you can see, a lot of the spikes are missing and stuff. So I did block repairs basically I didn't replace any of the darts and the dart traps now we survived the horde no problem it was a relatively easy horde and I think I can probably show you just in case you're wondering we're still at two deaths um, so I didn't die on the horde night game stage 302 level 96 so um, yeah everything is still the same with the exception like I said of um, yeah I just did a couple minor repairs I checked the ammo and the gun turrets fine I did the repairs on the electrical fences. Those are fine and ready to go. So we'll be running the horde again. Now I, I'll just show you here what we got, we picked up last night. We didn't get a lot of stuff. Like, I mean, I think it was from here down or something. So we got a few things. There's some stuff in the box that I haven't brought in yet out from uh, out in the thing there. So I'll probably just end up selling all this stuff. Um, I ended up burning out like 120 some odd rounds, I think, of coil rounds. Uh, a little bit of 762 a little bit of nine mil, like not a whole lot, and then two stacks of shotgun ammo and 10 rounds of this. So I barely used any ammo for the Horde Knight. It ran so smoothly, it was ridiculous. So I'm not gonna repair anything. I don't think we need to do that. I think we're good to go here with all our gear. Um, we'll just see how it at, uh, plays out here. Um, so let's go ahead and get some food in us. Uh, let's just use one of these guys. Good enough. Now I wanna go down. The one thing I do wanna do though, um, before we go too far is I want to go around and have a look at the outside to see if, what damage they did on the outside. I'm not going to fix any of it. I'm just going to leave it. Oh yeah, so they did hit up here last night. Um, looks like all these spikes are intact. So it's just this one they were trying to break through here. Looks like. So I'm going to leave that unrepaired. Not really worried about it. That's broken there. I don't think they touched this side at all. Uh, looks pretty good along here. So the things that I did do yesterday that you're not going to see, obviously, is I made um, some military armor. I was able to buy a little bit of stuff from the uh, the trader. I, I had 45 uh, military fiber. I was able to get three more from the trader. So I was able to make four, um, as you can see here, four military pieces. I left the legs as they were because they were the highest level. And I made everything else this way. Um, I made a level 71 uh, shotgun. I actually made two of these. We got one in still inside and moved everything over to the shotgun. Um, the coil rifle I got modded out. I pulled the rad remover from the uh, bat for now and put it in here. Um, and that's about it. That's really all I did. Um, I did some general base upgrades all the way around to get things working. Oh yeah, let's... Uh, before nightfall. Uh, let's do that. Get that out of the way with. Looks like they broke some plates over here too. It was str it was very strange. I don't know whether it's because I upped the difficulty that the mobs weren't as difficult or what the reasoning for it was. But it just didn't feel like a really heavy horde night. Maybe it was just we got lucky. It was like random, randomness. I don't know. Like we got lucky with a certain number of zombies and whatever. So, I mean, there's still some damage down around here. Like, these took a bit of damage. At one point in time of the night, I thought this had blown out. There was a big hole here because where I was, where where I was up there, I couldn't really see that well. Um, they broke this plate early in the night, so I'm gonna leave it broken for now. Um, I don't think we have that many darts left. We had like 500 and something? Yeah, 201. It's not going to last for very long. What do we got in this side? A little more. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and pull. Because this side doesn't seem to be triggering more than the other side. So that one plate... The back plate triggers the upper one, right? So this upper one here is not... 
Yeah, they broke this plate really quickly. So that that's not going to work tonight. So let's go ahead and do... Or is it? No. It should be connected to this one as well. Why wasn't it firing? I don't know. I just don't know. Let's do... Come on. That. I don't know if it's going to fire. That's the power. Right, we don't have a wire to this one. That's right, so it's not going to fire. I'm looking at the wrong thing from down here. It's just hard for me to see. Let's take those out. Um... Let's do that. That's more than enough for tonight. And then we'll put we'll split these up between these two here. Still more than enough. Okay, and this guy. Beautiful. So those should be going off all night. I didn't repair all of this. I repaired some of it. So they may break through some of this tonight. What happened though is I left accidentally left this block and then forgot to close the door. So they had broken in here and were like, and broke through like a couple of blocks here. They didn't touch any of this stuff, which was nice. So tonight, we're gonna pick that up, close this. So at least we're doing it right tonight. I might as well close that too, just in case. Now, um, so we don't need you on us. Everything else we'll keep. Uh, we'll go out here. Might as well go this way. And get things sorted. Now, was, we were talking about a little bit about base development and design. And the idea was that maybe we have it so that we're shooting out through here, straight down this way and through them. And then making them kind of wind down and around this way to try and get to me. But then... We'd have to make sure they were pointed off of the ramp, which means we'd have to have two sledge turrets working. I don't know. It would be... I think it would be better... If, like, if this was, like, maxed out and there was two players, then that's what you would do. You'd have one guy here shooting them down here with, like, rad remover and then whatever would, would remove the... Um, the uh, demon's regen. Fire off down this way, and then... The zombies would pass around, either get knocked off or continue straight into the second person, which would be waiting for them right here. And that's what you would do, I think. But anyway, let's see how we're going to do tonight for the second time. Let's turn it on. Let's get these turned on. Let's get this turned on. Yeah, we had a few things in here. Not a lot. This was the this was our, armor, our armor. I changed it in here, but we picked up a bunch of, like, minor garbage. I can just throw most of this shit out. Like, we're not even going to need most of this stuff. You know? Two glass jars, really? Um. Yeah, so, I mean, we did okay. I guess. We got a little bit of ammo, but not much. Anyway, tonight will be fine. We'll see how it goes. The biggest problem was the cops. Oh, I put these two plates in here because now I can get up here and kind of look down. So if the spider monkeys get up here, I can actually shoot them while they're up here. I didn't utilize it a whole lot last night, um, but I do have that option now so I can just kind of pop up real quick because when we were down low like this, we couldn't really see over. But now this little extra little bit lets us shoot straight down, which is nice. So we'll see how it goes. We had a lot of cops. Well, not a lot. A fair bit of cops last night. Um... The animal phase was pretty big. We had a bunch of um, bears, a few, a few um, radiated dogs. We had no, re we had like one demolisher, which I wrecked with the, with the P-225. We shot him in the head and that was pretty much it. And then everything else, we just, oh shit, I gotta open all the freaking doors. Ow, crap, forgot that that was still working. Um... Come on. What's going on? Leg. 
Don't lag. Please don't lag. There we go. Always on. Instant. So I should stay up now. Oh, man. Get these doors open. So, yeah, I got, I got them open last night. It was no problem. Everything was, everything was set up and ready to go. And we were well ahead of time. And everything was wonderful. And, of course... I went and left this block there, left this door open. Go back up this way. It's probably just easier to do it this way. It's always something. Like, I'm always forgetting something for Horde. There is no just, like, rinse and go. All right, oh, we got to jump across here. Yeah, beautiful. All right, well... Actually, we're going to leave this one down. Now, this they, they took this thing down to about uh, 2,000 on the first level. So it had like 16,000 hit points left. And I'm not repairing as I go. I have nothing to repair with. Like, I have no materials on me to repair stuff with. So it's not like, you know, I can easily just like... Like, if I, if I was repairing stuff, this would be so easy. I would run the power in reverse so I could repair these things. I would set these up as hatches so I could repair these. So the electric defenses would be running all night. And then I would just repair the, the gate here and wouldn't have to worry about anything. Oh yeah, we actually added... You can't tell right here, but there's a plate on the outside. If we just go out real quick. I added a plate to the outsides here. And we, uh, we extended this up a little bit. And made it um, steel. Just in case they stack a little bit, they don't get up under the roof. I mean, if they do, we can shoot them from here. But at least this way, it kind of prevents them from getting onto the roof. Uh, that gun worked really well last night. There was a handful of birds. They all got killed by the gun. I didn't have to do anything. So, all right, let's see how it goes this time. It should be just, I think, just as good. I didn't check Jen's status, though. They were banging on her uh, door there a little bit. There was one guy, you know the big uh, Hawaiian guy, where he's kind of got, like, the green aura around him? He was, like, running up got up on top of here, would jump down, and then he would disappear. And then I would see him come around here, come back up, jump up on there, jump up on there, and then run and then go around the building again. And he was going around in circles for a good portion of the night. I have no idea why. So I finally got tired of him and killed him with sniper rifle. But I have no idea why he was just circling this building. Like he was just, I'm just going to circle this building and leave it at that. It's like, okay. So 16 zombies, uh, warrior difficulty, day 56. Gonna start any moment. Let's hope we don't die. We'll be just fine. Like I said, we were using this shotgun most of the night. I used, I shot 10 rounds from this, handful of rounds from this for the demolisher. But for the most part, it's just a shotgun. And it does just fine. You know, you can't get much from here. It's what the sniper rifle's for. I made a two-time scope for it, so we have a bit of a zoom for it. But, um, yeah, you can't, uh, you can't beat this shotgun for close range. It's been doing really well. It's like, what's the damage on this thing? So, not, uh, eight pellets at 19 each, so it's like almost 160 damage per shot. Whereas, this sniper rifle is doing 124. Magazine size is 24 on that, and it's 22 on this one, so not bad. I mean, this, this will be great for when we're out and about, because it reloads a lot faster, I think. Um, but this one, it's like 165 a pellet, one pellet, because it's slug. So it's about the same damage as this. It just, I don't know, I just, I don't really, this one's got more hitting power, it feels like. Um, so this one will knock, like, military zombies down, because it's obviously it's a slug, whereas this one doesn't. So, all right. Well, it's late at night here, so I'm just I'm just tired. I, like I was just I just recorded a bunch of episodes and I was moving them over to my uh, my uh, work drive so I could start editing them and stuff. And then I'm like, wait a minute, where's the last episode? I'm like, is it this one? And it was like 40 minutes. I'm like, no, that's not or 40 gigs. I'm like, that's not it because I had paused an episode and I forgot that I forgot to turn it off. I paused because I had to go downstairs and do some stuff. And I came back up and it was still running. So that was the long one. I'm like, wait, why is the next one only 168k? It was because I forgot to record it. I don't know what happened. I hit, I thought I hit it, but 
Because I normally don't start talking until I see, you know, the recording thing go away, so I don't know what happened. But yeah, they, I mean, the doors are working well, I think. There's only a handful of spots like over there that they'll, they'll be banging on, but I think if I make that wall flat over there, I think if we make that flat, you know, with spikes on it, then they'll be more, you know, have a more t bigger tendency to go around. Yeah, same, they came from the same direction last time too. Come on, you guys. Find your way up. There's a goat. Huh. Get him, buddy. <laughs> Get him. Chase him down. Spider monkey sniffing the goat's butt. Oop. I got caught talking. Well, she died already. You can already see it's better. Ooh, cop. That's what all, pretty much all I was doing last night, is just popping guys' noodles. That was another spider monkey. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. Full auto shotgun, baby. That turret is worth its weight in gold. Like, honestly. Cop's gonna spit. Yeah. They do a fair amount of damage, too, with that spit. There, screamer. Come on, you guys. They don't know how to get to me. What were you carrying? Pants. Alright, now's the time we pull this out. There we go. You can keep them off Jen that way. Now, we didn't get a lot of bags last night. Or the, and I don't expect to get a lot this night either. Just simply because we're not killing as fast. They're just getting confused, I think. I don't know why they don't know where to go. Lag. Wow. Yeah, these guys are armored. Oh, there's something we didn't get last night. He broke through that thing so fast. Holy shit, what the fuck just happened? I have no idea what just the hell happened. Did he, like, hit me through the wall? I can't see a damn thing. Where am I? I fell. What the hell just happened? He broke the hatch. I saw that. I saw him break the hatch. I just didn't see anything else. Is that it for the Horde Knight? No, they gotta restart.
right? So I should have been using this on him. That coil, this coil round at 122 a pop wasn't enough to bring him down with a full clip. This is 102, 124, 22 rounds. So this is 4,500. And this is 2,800, 2,400, something like that. Okay. Good to know. Does that mean that's over? Can't be over. Let's log out and log back in then. Alright, well we'll see how it goes again. Should just start up again. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, man, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that somehow I was too close to the front here. The shotgun definitely can't put out enough damage to take those guys down. So I was probably standing too close and he was, he's got a really long reach. So I'm going to have to back right up, I guess. And switch to the M4 to take that guy out. I left my door open. Yeah, I don't know. I feel kind of terrible for that. Like, that's my fault, obviously. Once again, underestimating a behemoth. Like, as soon as I think it, I see it, I shouldn't think that I'm going to be able to kill it. I'm going to have to just back up and, like... I think that's got to be it. We just back up. Might as well put some vitamins in us. Ooh, that's got to hurt. So we're down one hatch already. I should have made sure that second hatch was up. I just ran with it down the other night because there were so many spider monkeys that I had to like shoot them and I never even thought I as soon as that behemoth showed up I should have put the second one up. Like I wonder if there's a better way to deal with those guys. It really is just brute force though. Like the only way you can deal with them is brute force. Coming to the door, might as well kill some here. This is pretty much what the night was like last night. Well, that not last night, but when I ran it off camera, of course. Like there was like nobody, nobody coming to the door, pretty much, until the animals and the uh, spider monkey started getting up there. Don't let him see me. He'll get punted down there, probably. Yep. I put the rad remover on this thing, too. I think I mentioned that. Makes a big difference. Oh, okay. Now we got one of those guys. Switch to the A4. He's going to come right through that the thing. There he is. And down he goes. Yeah. That's that's really all you got to do. Just make sure you got the uh, M4 out. Is that another one? There's going to come a time when there's more than those guys that I'm going to be able to handle. So, I don't know what I'm going to do at that point. Who's doing what down here? I hear somebody. Come on, you guys. Oh, demo.
Yeah, the demos is funny. It's like I'm not even worried about demos now. It's like a demo zombie. So what? So what? It's funny how when you when you like raise the difficulty level up by adding zombies that are just like terrifying as hell. You're like, yeah, so what? The old the old zombies that were always scary. Or it's like you see a bear now and you're like, yeah, whatever. At least it's not a behemoth. Some of them got through. So we want red skill nodes. It's those those um the nurses, not the, what are they called? The uh, technicians or whatever that's going to give it to us. These ones. Let's see if that cop makes it through. Nope. That's sludge turret, man. Telling you, it's getting, I, and I don't even have it raised up. Like, that's the thing, right? The skill governing is still like basic skill. Ooh, 48 battle axe. That'll replace our uh, regular axe now. Is that a cop? No, it's a biker. Take my time. Line them up. They don't need to waste ammo. This is a behemoth. I'm going to make sure we kill them. Yeah, that's really sucky that we died again. But from as far as I can tell, like watching other YouTubers play this game and stuff, it's like you just dying is just something you have to expect to do in this mod. Oh shit, there's another one. Yeah, he did a number on that door, too. It's like I'm almost ready to go open the next one up. We may be fighting from the walls tonight. I really hope not. I don't have any other turrets set up. Handle vultures. Oh, he fell. Okay. Yeah, see, this doesn't feel like it's got the same power as this one. Oh, there he is. Remember to back up this time. All right, we're fighting from back here a little bit, I think. We reloaded here. That's a demo. He's one of these guys. White. White is still auto shotgun material. Where's that demo? What's up, buddy? Made it through, huh? You will suffer. You will suffer. What's that? That's a bear. Okay.
I want to put this door, the second door down, but it would just take one of those behemoths showing up to easily rip through it. I have to do it for this guy, though. The animal stage now, so I don't know. I might not get one. Will I? You sure about that? What's this fucking bear doing? Did that zombie fall? Ooh. Who's gauzing me? It's so hard to fight zoomed in. Let's we'll get some free stuff from them. Come on, you bastards, let's go. So, I mean, the worst, the worst thing I forgot about doing it tonight was closing that door. Shit, that guy's gonna blow up down there. There's the morning. We died, so that wasn't a victory. Yeah, that dog blew up. We died, so it definitely was not a victory. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I put these little plates in down here. We got a fair bit of repairs to do. off there. I don't need the extra stuff from you. Alright. Let's do this. Who's left? Let's see what they do if I'm on the wall. Let's see if they'll just try to come up to here and get to me. Totally do. Oh. That's interesting. Wow. <laughs> Get him. Come on, you guys. Don't suck so bad. I don't know if she was a screamer from last night or not. Come on, lady. I ain't got all day. Nope, I don't think she was a screamer from last night. I think she's new. Oh, they broke a hole in there. Stop banging on my walls. I think we better do this. He just left up on there. Although I think he did it because the uh, spider monkey was there. Is he still alive? No, he's not. I think he was on the spider monkey's back. All right. On you bastards. Okay, someone's still shooting over there. Oh, hey. Were they shooting at you? Maybe.
There's somebody banging over here. Hearing stuff breaking. Ooh, there's a bag. So they were killing people. Oh, they did broke it. They broke another block in there. Oh, okay. I heard the dart trap go off. Oh, it's a white. How do you get up there? How did he get up there? That's, um, concerning. How would he get up there? Like, he shouldn't be able to get up there. Better wear this. The whole ten extra levels. Alright, let's fix this now. So that would be triggered. Three second delay. Alright, let's pick this stuff up. Is that just one skill note, or is that... Oh, that's the male goat. Hey. What the fuck? Alright, there we go. Alright, let's just loot this real quick here. Alright, well that appears to be it. I didn't grab a ton. Now I got more inside. Though this actually might as well scrap that in the workbench, it'll take too long otherwise. That can get scrapped, that can get scrapped. Scrapped. I mean, we got 10 military fiber. All right, what else do we get out of here? Should have just turned these off. All right, let's go take this stuff inside. Now, I don't know how much we got. Uh, might as well spend... Um, yeah, I guess we did okay. I mean, could have been a lot better, I guess. Um... Wow. Anything that matches. Okay. Let's go just put this stuff away. Alright, so after sorting everything out, we got a crap ton of stuff to sell. Um, it's a lot more than I thought it would have been. So I'm going to have to go through all this. We're going to grab some stuff, sell it to the trader. Uh, but we'll do all that in the next episode. Um, yeah, I mean, we made out fairly well. I was actually I'm kind of, kind of pleased at how well we made out here. There's a tremendous amount of stuff. I actually want to take the die out of this. Decided I want to start keeping dies again. After having to try and make black die, it was a bit of an issue. So yeah, uh, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow's episode is going to be a shorter one. Uh, obviously because of the horde. Um, we're going to repair the base tomorrow. So that's what we're going to do. Um, get it up and running. Make sure everything is, is uh, the way it should be. And... Um, Start working on getting more ammo and all that stuff uh, for the next horde and figure out what we're going to do because I don't think that with with the behemoth like that, there was that, that was a major issue. We have, to, we have to figure out what we're going to do to make sure that doesn't happen again. Um, yeah. So until next time, we'll see you all later.